What's up, you guys? Okay, so I have a message for the collective. Um, sorry, the headphones. I'm, it's I'm autistic, so it's like it helps. I don't know. It's the weight, the all of it. But um, it's uh okay. Um, someone is afraid to separate from a karmic. This could be many of you, but and it could also be. It could be like a friend karmic, it could be a family karmic, it, it could be one person, it could be several people, it could be a, I'm also hearing like a twin flame who turned into a karmic, okay? But the message really is, it's, it's so important, it's so important. It, actually, I, when I think about it, it makes me feel like I want to cry, like somebody's really upset. They don't want to have to separate. It's hard for somebody to separate from somebody, a, a narcissist. Also, sometimes you know these these um, these karmics can can uh, kind of embody that energy. But um, the message is, it's something about like because I'm seeing the magician in my mind's eye. It's something about how you are a teacher and you help you help to raise people's frequencies to help when you when you're in their presence. You help to raise people's frequencies so that they understand things that they would not otherwise understand in order to help them understand that they can understand these things by themselves. Okay. God, I hope that makes sense. But, um, it's like people don't want to take the journey by themselves. So they try to control you to exploit you. Right. So that's an unhealthy dynamic, but it's also like these karmics are, um, that's the, um, uh, it's so frustrating because it's like, it's the, it's the war, the polarity lore, war, you know what I mean? Um, let's pull some cards. It's, the, the, the problem is, is essentially is it's like somebody is, um, like not, okay. Oh God. Okay. Oh God. I don't like these cards. We've got temperance in the reverse position with a death card in the reverse position with the eight of wands in the reverse position with the wheel of fortune in the reverse position. Okay. This is all right. Um, okay. Let me just, Oh man, this is very impromptu. I literally just painted my nails too. So I'm trying to, to like, not like, I don't really want to pull the cards. Let's see. <laughs> so, but, um, the message has to come out. So, um, it's like, oh God, okay, it's almost like, oh God, okay. And now I have the hanged man. A uh, card of abandonment and a card of sacrifice as well. Okay, this is, um, it's almost like, oh God, this is really fucking sad. It could even be somebody in somebody's family, all right? And it's almost like you have to separate this, you have to separate yourself from this person um, for future lifetimes because there's something about this other person who is dealing with a karmic cycle and you need to separate yourself from that situation and raise your frequency away from them because there's somebody somehow you are connected to this person it could be a twin flame it could be somebody from your soul family something like that but right now the message that I'm receiving here with the temperance and the the death card in the reverse position with the wheel of fortune in the reverse position it's like don't take action towards this person because if that happens this person might just sacrifice themselves if you don't separate yourself from oh, I don't want to manifest this in anybody's reality, so just take what resonates, okay? But it's almost like this person on a soul level is like, okay, fine, if you won't separate yourself from me, then I will separate myself from you so that in future lifetimes we can we can fix this. Somebody needs to separate from a karmic relationship or several in order to raise their frequency for their soul family and or for a, a, a twin flame so that they can be together in the future in future lifetimes. Okay. If that makes sense. Good God. Okay. Um, I will pull some more cards. This is pretty serious. Um, I really do kind of feel like that was just kind of the message, but let's just, we, we can try to pull some more cards. We'll see what else happens. What comes out if I'm not too scared with my nails. Oh God. Yeah. This, this reading, it, it makes me very sad and it is sad. It's somebody's like, I'm seeing the two of swords in my mind's eye, probably cause I'm not shuffling the cards right or <laughs> well enough, but, um, I'm seeing the two of swords in my mind. eye. it's, it's a decision that somebody is, is, is trying to figure out, like, is there some way that I, I don't have to do this? And it's almost like, it's kind of almost gotten to the point where it's like, no. And it, it could have, I'm even hearing like, it could have even been prevented if there was a separation earlier, if, if that, 
if that makes any sense, but it's almost like, it's like these people, somebody's just like really addicted, not addicted to your energy, but, but maybe, yeah, addicted is, is a good energy or a good a term, I guess, or, or, um, I, yeah, let's just pull some more cards. Okay. So, it's, but yeah, we have the magician here. So, so it's like, that's who you are. You're somebody who's very creative and you're somebody who has, um, you're somebody who's a teacher. The magician card is also a, a card of teachers. Okay. Ascended masters. All right. So you're somebody who is an ascended master and it's, it's like, you're supposed to like dip in and out of people's lives to, to kind of help wake them up. But some people don't want to let you go. And then it turns into a karmic relationship. And when they don't want to let you go, then, well, then it turns into a karmic relationship. Okay. Um, and then it defeats the purpose of like why you've been there really because at that point they need to separate learn their own lesson and then and then they've evolved and then the two can come back and be like in a healthy soul connection okay so but it's like there there wasn't or or it's like if you go back to them there has not been enough space and they and on a soul level they're thinking about take what resonates you guys use discernment but sacrificing themselves just for future lifetimes so that they so that this so that you can't come towards them okay so um because they know that this is a journey that you have to take yourself is what i'm hearing this is a journey that you have to take by yourself is what i'm hearing so hopefully nobody needs to sacrifice anything or sacrifice themselves and and everybody just goes where they need to go. Two of Cups. So you might be entering into some sort of a divine connection also here with the Two of Cups. Um, okay. And with the Page of Cups. Um, or, and it could also be, you know, uh, I'm also hearing, um, I don't know why I'm hearing like work related, but like, I don't know, maybe somebody's like moving for work too or something. I don't know. But, um, Something about this connection it makes you feel very insecure and that's like lowering your frequency. So it's like you're, you're holding, we're all holding space for our soul family at all times. Okay. But it's like, this is lowering your frequency. So it's, and it's exhausting somebody. Um, so it's, it's making it difficult for you to be able to hold space for that, that soul family collective energy. Okay. Yeah, and it's like you, you, somebody just has to walk away, okay? Um, it's just really sad. What else? Spirit, yes, and then you will have success, and, and there will be a huge reward as well. Not only will whoever this person is, you know, not have to leave, right, this planet at this time, but I also feel like you're going to receive some some abundance at, at the other side of this, okay? On the other side of this, all right? And that is the truth with the Ace of Swords here that just fell out of the deck, okay? I'm sending you guys so much love. This, this, I hope that this makes sense. I hope that this helps anybody, all of you. I send you guys so much love. I'm gonna go let my nails dry now. <laughs> okay, until next time. <laughs>